Aloha, I am John Roth, an estate planning attorney, and this is Just Ask John, where I answer your estate planning questions. Estate planning is the process where you put together a plan to make sure your wishes are carried out in the event of your incapacity or death. The documents generally include a will, power of attorney, advanced healthcare directive, and sometimes a revocable living trust. So in those documents, you can appoint an agent to act on your behalf in different capacities. But today, our question is, what is the difference between a personal representative and a trustee? So in your estate plan, if you have a will and a trust, in your will, it appoints your personal representative. In your trust, it appoints your successor trustee. Both roles are agents who make sure your wishes are carried out. In a trust, they can step in in the event of your incapacity and ultimately after your lifetime. In a will, the personal representative only has authority upon your death. So when someone dies, the personal representative, the trustee, a lot of times I like to make him the same person, someone who you know has good judgment, can get the paperwork done, can make sure that your wishes are carried out and all of the expenses are taken care of and the beneficiaries get what they're entitled to. So during that process, after your lifetime, when whoever you've appointed is looking at your inventory, what do you own? What is in your name, your bank accounts, your real estate, your retirement, your life insurance, who are the designated beneficiaries? It's very important to look at those assets and figure out, are they in the deceased person's name or are they in the deceased person's trust? You know something's in trust if on the title, the bank statement, the deed, it says the person's name, comma, trustee. If it just says the person's name, that means it's in their individual name. If it says their name, comma, trustee, with some other verbiage, it means it's in their trust. So if an asset is in the trust, the trustee is responsible and can get to it and manage that asset, get to the bank account, sell that real estate. If it's in the individual's name, it's the personal representative. They can be the same person, but they're different roles. A personal representative is responsible for things that are in the deceased person's individual name, while the trustee is responsible for what is in the trust. So while you put together an estate plan, it's also very important to discuss and determine whether you want to hold an asset in your trust or not. And so we help people put together the estate plan, including all the documents, and we give advice on what assets should be held and can be held in the trust versus not, based on what your concerns and what your goals are. Every estate plan is different, and how you hold title to your assets is a very important part of the overall estate plan. It will determine whether the personal representative or the trustee is the one who will be able to access and manage your assets in the event of your incapacity or death. So if you have any questions, please comment below, go to our website, hawaiitrustlaw.com, and stay tuned for our future Just Ask Johns. Aloha.